The Backman series of terahertz spectrometers are portable, therefore they're shipped in a Pelican case, similar to this one. So when you receive your spectrometer, simply open up the case and you will find some contact information, the manual, and in the back of the manual, go through it, you'll see the calibration data sheet for the system that's being shipped, as well as uh, a scan that illustrates the dynamic range and the performance of the spectrometer. Put this aside. And you'll see the components. Now, we could actually fit the spectrometer in a smaller Pelican case, but if we go to a case that's smaller than this one, we lose the wheels. And it's really, it's really nice to have these wheels when you're traveling with the system. So, first thing you can do is you can remove the control unit. Below the control unit, you will have the power supply, the software on a USB flash drive, a one-click fiber cleaner, which is very important. You need to use this each time you plug fibers in to uh, any of the different receptacles. Then a bag containing the optical fibers for the system and the electronic control uh, cables. And finally, a USB uh, cable. Set these all aside. Over in the left, you'll have each of the terahertz heads. They'll be labeled. This is the detector head. And of course, the source head. And we'll set these aside now. Also, the upper left hand corner of the container are the off axis parabolic mirrors. What is missing is the rail. The rail is actually hidden is down here underneath the rest of the unit and then that can be removed. Now keep all of these pieces of foam because if you ever want to travel with the system it will make it easier if you know where they are. I will close this and set it aside. So what you have now is the control unit The cables and the key is in there, the software, the fiber cleaner, the off-axis parabolics, the rail system, the manual, and power supply. Next, we're going to show you how easy it is to assemble this system.